Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey everyone, good evening, and welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, having a premium day. So let's kind of uh, rewind to yesterday, right? Yesterday's video, uh, we talked about that. You know, I, I felt like a lot of beta names uh, were playing possum. Okay, we we talked about yesterday that you know we were basically one or two days away that if these stocks started taking out. Uh, the 60 minute supply, you're going to have a potential for a pretty aggressive rally. And we, we, we went through uh, a bunch of names. Uh, we talked about Microsoft yesterday. We talked about uh, Facebook and especially Amazon. Uh, Amazon was very, very uh, strong. Netflix, Amazon, uh, Roku, names like that. And the most important part about uh, getting ready for any single trading day. Um, is to really have a definitive opinion. Again, we say every single day, and that doesn't change, that every opinion needs to be played out technically. Again, just because I loved a potential scenario of a lot of these names waking up, it didn't mean I'm going to start at, you know, at 4 o'clock in the morning when the ECNs open up, I'm going to start clicking my mouse starting to buy stock. So it was very, very important to kind of, you know, kind of wait it out and play it out. And the most important part, uh, you know, when the futures gapped up today, not a lot, but futures gapped up, you know, 50, uh, 60 handles on the Dow, about 30, 40 handles today on the NASDAQ composite. The, the one thing I kept on reiterating today, just when, you know, when you, and I turn on my computer and again, obviously the Tesla trade is already gone. It was up like uh, 80, 85 points pre-market. I turned around, I said, I have no interest in Tesla today. I, I have literally no interest. I think that was one of the th first things uh, I tweeted out this morning from my um, uh, from my regular Twitter account. I said, look, there's so much value uh, in the tape today. There's so many really good setups that if you sit there and you know and and, and drool over a move uh, in Tesla that already happened, that so much euphoria is 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 uh, taking place and and really preoccupying so many traders' times. Um, you're going to miss a really good potential trading day, and that's exactly what happened. I had zero interest in Tesla today. Uh, at pre-market, I, I actually, I, I actually mentioned that, but maybe like three or four times uh, at morning strategy, I, I felt the value was in other places. Uh, and if you look at how the day played out today, um, super value. I think that's the best way of saying it. Not only on the long side, but the names that we were talking about yesterday, for example, like a Boeing on last night's video, a uh, Boeing came in, a uh, stock like mRNA that's been on this, uh, you know, teared down channel for the last two weeks, uh, that started breaking down as well. So there was a tremendous value today. And the one thing that I, I really love about um, this type of environment, and, and I've, you know, I've talked about this for a long, long time. Again, you don't need to press, you know, you don't really need to press on the gas every single day. Because again, if you just wait for your sweet spot, and this is something I, I talk about on purpose, I, I try to repeat uh, and really instill this into everybody's subconscious because again, the more times you hear that you don't need to trade, okay, only on premium days, it finally is going to sink into your subconscious. And when you finally do realize that a, a really good premium day is in front of you, you you are going to do uh, you are going to do pretty well because you're not you know you're not um, trying to uh, trade in less than premium scenarios. And today is just one of those days that turned out to be a very very good. Uh, Amazon was by far, there's not even, you know, there's not even a, a close second. Maybe, uh, excuse me, maybe, maybe Netflix and Zoom um, were right behind there as well. But the value is definitely there. Um, the idea, the research behind today's move, uh, that was there. And the most important part going into tomorrow's session, I think we're looking at the names that were quiet, right? If you notice today, the Amazon woke up, obviously. Uh, Netflix woke up, obviously, but you have to start looking at charts that had big moves a couple of weeks ago and now are just resting for the last couple of weeks. They're finally starting to poke their heads. And if you go through, uh, you know, again, the NASDAQ 100 is only 100 charts. It'll take you, well, it'll take you three minutes, four minutes to go through all these charts. You'll quickly see which ones are starting to poke up their head. And again, what's the common denominator? Option flow, right? We saw a couple of days ago and you knew 
uh, it was just a matter of time on Amazon. You saw a couple of days ago, uh, the 3,200 calls, the 3,300 calls, they started popping up. Um, you started seeing aggressive call buying two, three days ago, you know, in the, in the two, uh, 260s, the 265s, the 270s, the 280s uh, calls on ZM. So you, you saw it happening. It was, it was just slowly kind of percolating. And finally today, uh, when everything confirmed, like really incredible aggressive rockets. And I, again, I really enjoy this type of scenario because again, you don't need to settle. That's the greatest part about them. That's the, the moral of the story. You do not need to settle. You can trade, you could trade on your own time. You can trade when the market uh, gives you that, that really aggressive green light and everything else, all the other days is just noise. It's just you know, a lot of water cooler talk. It's just like you know, social media buzzing. This one's hot, that one's hot. Again, remember, we don't look for the hot stock. Okay, we look for, you know, we look for the channel that if it confirms becomes hot. And that's exactly uh, what we saw today. Super aggressive day. Uh, I know a lot of you guys did incredibly well. Um, and if you look at the indexes, again, they're, they're going to support the kind of what we we're talking about. Uh, NASDAQ Composite, let's just talk about the Qs, all time highs. Uh, if you look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average today, we'll look at the diamonds just as a proxy. Uh, you know, again, it's kind of playing possum the same way. It was down a little bit, but you could see the big, big move uh, traded today, faded right to the 10-day moving average. Nobody even noticed that the market was down. And now it's kind of like setting up again, just playing possum just the same way uh, a lot of these beta names were two, three, four days ago. And again, if the diamonds reclaim, you know, 280 and a quarter on a close, you know, you're going to see again, another run uh, at all time highs. Uh, IWM, you know, again, the same thing as the Dow, right? You had this big breakout uh, above this 153.39 level, had a big, big run uh, to 159. And again, just kind of slowly drifting, right? Slowly drifting again. Did anybody even notice it? Again, there's so much speculation money that is hitting the tape. Nobody even noticed when an, in, an index kind of back tests into rise in support. And today's another perfect example, just like the diamonds did with the 10 day moving average, so did the IWM. And if the Russell or the IWM starts reclaiming this 158 level, again, you're going to get a moonshot back into uh, 52 week highs. So, uh, you know, pretty terrific action, really is. Pretty terrific action today. Um, a lot of stocks are waking up, a lot of names are still very, very weak. Um, and if you look at the pivots today, I mean, something definitely there uh, for everyone. And when I talk about value, okay, um, yeah, today was the day, right? Today was definitely the day on value. Again, like I said, not only to the upside, right? To the downside as well. So let's talk about it. Uh, Boeing, uh, 171.40. 17140 171 if it builds below can flush here was Boeing right for here was Boeing so here is the 171 we talked about this last night on the video uh, so it took out the 17140 171 uh, went as low as to 169 I still think it goes lower you know if if, if the bears start reclaiming uh, this 169 level you can see here the, the low of uh, August the 7th is, is 168.70. If it starts building below this 168.70, there, there's going to be an aggressive day. It really is. It's just, this one's just biding time. And if it doesn't come out with some really, really good news soon, you are gonna see a really, really aggressive move one of these days. So big potential still uh, still on Boeing, but nice move there. Uh, Pinterest, uh, you know, 36 needs to build. Uh, traded right to 52 week highs today. So here was a 36. Right here's a 36 on Pinterest, and it traded right to 52 week highs. Got rejected at 52 week highs, but again, nice dollar 30 move on Pinterest. I know a lot of you guys did very, very well, and this is where you know things really, really started, you know, really playing out here. Uh, 3224 needs to build. There will be a huge macro area shortly. Now, usually what happens is usually get one candle and usually will test a level, that macro level. Amazon just kind of forgot to test the macro level and went right through it. So 3224 needs to build and the macro level that I was talking about was 3250, okay? It went through 3250 like it wasn't even there, okay? I think that's the best way of saying it. So here's the 3224, right? So it took, takes this out. It takes out the 30, you know, 3230s level and it goes through 3250 on one candle like it's not even there. And when I tell you it's a monster move, stock closed pretty much at the highs of the day. When I tell you we saw today weeklies, right? Keep this in mind. Tomorrow's Wednesday. 
we saw the 3300, the 3400, the 3500. I think we even saw the 3700 weekly calls. So tomorrow on Amazon, I know a lot of you guys are holding uh, runners. If tomorrow we somehow get a gap, gap down open in the market, this is the epitome of a buy on rising 60 minute support. Um, and, and if this thing confirms today's price action, you, you know, there's a very, very high probability uh, that you could see the 3,400 level uh, for tomorrow. So monster move, absolutely crazy move. Uh, ZM, ZM now I caught two days in a row. This stock is just a beast, just an absolute beast. Uh, they are uh, really getting aggressive in the options market ahead of earnings. Uh, ZM's just a monster. The second day in a row, I caught this thing. 272 needs to build. Uh, it got rejected twice pre-market, 272. So uh, here was ZM, right? So here was ZM right over here. So here was the 272, right? 272, 272. It took out this 272. The first move was like three and a half dollars very, very quickly. Came back in, remounted, and it just exploded to the highs. So just a monster of a stock. Uh, Etsy, we've been talking about the stock for several days. Uh, 132 needs to build. Uh, here was Etsy, right? Here was Etsy. So it takes out the 132, this whole channel here, and goes to uh, 135 and change. I still like Etsy. I think it goes higher. Uh, it needs to confirm tomorrow's prices. Again, guys, again, the theme is value, value, value. Uh, TDOC, and again, you could get the idea. This was just one after another. Uh, TDOC, 210, not knees, but needs to build. Uh, here is TDOC, right? The whole stay at home theme. So here is the 210, right? Here is the 210 right over here, right? Here's the 210. The first candle went to 215 and remounted 215, uh, went to almost 219. So big, big move there as well. Uh, Lavago 132.50 needs to build. Uh, LVGO, here is the 132.50, right? Here's the 132.50, just absolutely exploded. Went to 136 and change. Uh, Netflix, uh, excuse me, uh, Alibaba. Uh, Alibaba took out that level, never really confirmed, traded it to like 61 and change. Um, there's some sort of State Department news that's selling it off after the close. I still like this one, uh, but it failed, you know, it failed at the 261 level. Uh, Netflix was big as well. I still like Netflix. Um, 488.50 needs to build. Here was Netflix. All this did, all this did today. It confirmed, you know, here's the 488.50. It confirmed the daily supply and went as high as to 95 and change. I still like it. If, if, if this whole area fails, excuse me, if this whole area gets remounted and the market continues to be strong, I, I want to keep an eye out tomorrow for any aggressive, angry, out of the money, near term call buying because this thing does have room to like 510, 520, especially if the market continues to stay hot. Uh, Microsoft had a really nice opening range move. Uh, 211.40 needs to build. Uh, here was Microsoft as well. 211.40 uh, traded up to 12.36 very, very quickly. Uh, this is the highest close. You can see here, this is the highest close in this whole formation. So I still like it going into uh, tomorrow as well. Um, Microsoft, Amazon just going nuts. Huge move on Tesla. Yeah, oh my God, again, when you, when you get a $60 opening range candle, I, I think an oh my God uh, is pretty warranted. Nice spike there, new highs. Uh, as, we, we, as we talked about, 3,400, 3,500 weekly call buyers coming in. Uh, MRNA was a beautiful short. Nothing wrong with this one at all. 67 has held three times daily. If it builds below, it can flush. Uh, here was uh, MRNA. Again, as you can see, this is a very, very busy scenario. Again, I said 65 had a, had a shot, traded right. To, so as you can see it right here, 67 held, 67 held. It finally broke 67, traded to the next support. Again, if you believe in the theory of stocks trade from supply to supply and demand to demand, this is why the stocks traded to 65. Uh, any build in the future below 65, it will go lower as well. And I believe that is it. Pinterest... Um, Pinterest, beautiful move there. Um, and that's it. And that's it. So, uh, fantastic. I mean, fantastic action. There's nothing you can say. Uh, again, you want to make sure the bulls get the benefit of the doubt. Again, when you're, when you're, tra when you're charting tonight, pay attention to the names that have not gone yet. Okay. It's very, very important. Go through the NASDAQ 100. Uh, there's a lot of names out there. Okay. There's, there's definitely a lot of names out there. If you do have an option scanner, Try to match them up to the order flow 
because if you have a stock that's about to confirm and they're in the secret sauce, which is not so secret, uh, once you have buyers of out of the money calls, especially near terms, that correlates with the daily confirmation, usually good things are going to happen. Uh, for all you guys who are joining us tomorrow in the live webinar, uh, or on the private Twitter feed, please, uh, especially in the live webinar, please arrive at 9 a.m. Eastern time for morning strategy so we can get all the pivots uh, underway. Other than that, guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, love you all, and I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.